hello, hey, and welcome to <laughs> Sick Vibes, uh, Rushed Vibes. I am Jessica, Rushed Vibes Rushing, accompanied by David, Rushed Vibes Rushing. Yes, I know I sound like a pubescent boy. I, uh, like a what? A prepubescent boy, a boy before puberty. When your voices start cracking, and you'll be like, hey, Pop. <laughs> um, we are we are rocking with some sick vibes. What is happening? Why is it I under? Don't, I don't know. Why did you put it under? I didn't put what under? It's always over. No, it's not. It's always under. Oh, see? Um, so. Yo. Y'all, we're I here. Understand, I understand you're not feeling well, but what you will not do. <laughs> What will not happen is you will not come for the I, executive producer's setup. So okay. the other executive producer, moi, I have a migraine. I'm congested. Migraine. I'm congested. I have mucus. Woe is me. <clears throat> we're just we're just rocking with some sick vibes here. So the grands picked up. I'm trying to figure out if I want my my little. I'm speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. The grands picked up the kids on Friday, and I swear they put a hex on us. And they were like, thou shall not enjoy their child free time. And for me, it started off as a tickle. So I did my natural, my typical natural remedy that works, which is a couple of drops of oregano oil in water. And that burns. It's supposed to just burn all bacteria. Um I assume that only works when you have a non-compromised immune system. So um, my immune system being compromised because I'm with child. Oh. So child. It is, it's weaker. So it takes me a lot longer to bounce back. Yo, and y'all can't see it, but Jessica did a stand-up job decorating our house and living room for fall. Yeah. She the, She got the colors and she got... Perfect decor. You see the little, the little lights behind us that aren't going yet because we don't have any double A's. Yeah, I didn't buy that. Got the little pumpkin spice because everybody knows. Anybody who knows me knows. Coming up this time of year, about another month, pumpkin spice is going to be all the rage, especially here in the rushing household. I'm all about some pumpkin spice lattes. So, it uh, it looks phenomenal in here. It's I've congratulated her like three times because every time I come down, it's more impressive somehow but and i still need to do more she she did a really good job you can tell that fall is my favorite holiday yeah although she didn't go as hard for juneteenth we're not gonna talk about that the stores we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about the it stores didn't have juneteenth we're, not, gonna, we're decor. not no we're not gonna make we're not gonna make it an issue we are just gonna we're, we're gonna acknowledge the fact that she I'll didn't do, go as hard I'll for juneteenth next month she didn't do the next tree year. she didn't do nothing i had to buy the shirts <laughs> Like she had she had no investment whatsoever, I but it's will, okay. I'll be better. It's fine. I'll be. Better. It's fine. No no judgment. Judgment free zone here. Anyway, on Rush vibes. Fall. I did. I will even. I will toot my own horn. I even DIY'd like the. I should have brought them over, but the flower containers. I bought like faux flowers, and then I got some glass. Not um, faux flowers. She bought faux, faux flowers, flowers, like fake flowers, not uh, not faux. UX. Not um, faux. And then I bought some glass vases. And I bought some, what would you call that? Nautical rope? Uh, I don't know because I don't know what it is. So I wouldn't know what to call the, it. The displays, the flower displays right there. Uh, and I, I glued rope. it and then I got some Spanish moss and I put it in there and then I put the flower. So it's like a fall bouquet. So I want to make a couple more. It's looking really nice. If, if any of you are, uh, fam- any of the family who supports us or friends who support us and you're fortunate enough to come over for a home cooked meal. Sometime between now or and bring and, a home cooked meal and or cri- a sometime meal. I'm tired. between now and Christmas, you will get to witness the miraculousness of Jessica's mm-hmm. Thanksgiving decor. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of my my handiwork. So yeah, this I'd say this is probably the one. I think after different seasons of practice, fall, yeah. I was like, okay, I think I understand the mission I gave myself. So right. 
yeah, we did that. Got some candles, got little pumpkins and stuff. So I'm actually excited for mom, your mom, to come in and see it and really and give give her feedback. Yeah, maybe you'll maybe that'll hold her feet to the fire because I'm pretty sure she hasn't started decorating no, yet. She gets she later has. and later every every year. I've definitely uh, and now that over the torch. Now that I've moved out and my brother's no longer live there, and she she'd be slacking. No, no disrespect, mom. I love you, but I mean, if if tell if, the truth. It, it, I get it. Tell the truth. I get it. Tell the I truth. I don't think I would have been able to do it if she didn't have our kids. This is true. <laughs> because I was able to focus. Like, I could just picture Savi, like, picking up something and moving it every time I put something down. But, yeah, yeah I'm very proud of my work. I still have a little bit more. I feel like some of the rooms just need a little more pop and some more decor. But other than that, hello, Autumn. Welcome to the rushing home. Maybe we can actually take a family picture in front uh, or with the tree at some point um, on the small couch over there and just, you know, finally do what I have planned for us to do. But, yeah, I'm proud of myself because I wasn't I I wasn't really a crafty. should be very proud. Decorative person like I was. We could put the Christmas tree up December 23rd and take it down December 26th. And here we are. What's today's date? Whatever. In August with the tree up. So. Hey, uh, the shirt you're wearing. The shirt I'm wearing. You want to tell us a little bit about it, or do, or do you, you don't remember? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, if you remember, I do remember. But okay, I don't. you remember a couple episodes ago, I wore um, a shirt uh, from Seven O Four Shop, Seven O Four Shop Charlotte. No, Seven O Four Shop. Um, they had par- partnered with a, a local uh, organization on bringing awareness to uh, autism. So. Uh, we purchased a couple of shirts. Yeah. I pur- what? I was gonna say the one mistake I made is when he purchased mine. I told him I was a small. Yeah, so it's I a said little, I could be a small. So it's hers is a little tight. So it's, it's, a it's little, definitely uh, it's a little I've, snug. I've filled in. You no, know, you got Yeah, you know, you got to You got to grow in. Yeah, grow out of it. You know, you got to be careful when you give someone your size. At like certain points of pregnancy, you don't. But. Can we say this? At 26 weeks pregnant, I'm, I'm fitting into a small. And I stood on the scale this morning. And there's no reason why any part of me should fit into a small. You look good, though. Look at God. You look beautiful. I stood on the scale. And then I was like, that was a bad idea. And then you I had to, like, talk myself through all of the different things that increase your weight in pregnancy. You look very, uh, very. Like, there's a two-pound baby. There's an expanded uterus. There's a placenta. Very delect- there's more You look blood. very delectable. I look, I look a little pudgy. Yeah, but I'm getting back in the gym, so maybe I can burn a few. Shout pounds. out, shout out to the gym, uh, which I'll be getting back into now. Yes, that, thank uh, goodness. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm just, I'm, I'm not. Now that um, <laughs> now that Jessica's working, overemployed vibes. Um, I, I see to it that we i see i see it fitting that we can increase our budget a little bit and allow me to get some some training so uh jessica is has been working with a trainer who's been uh, recommended though somewhat indirectly uh from our last trainer that we had and um i think i'm gonna i'm gonna go that same route and then you know to start doing some running you know with like my little my little big brother alan maybe get a peloton we're not getting a Peloton. I want a Peloton. You had your so look, Jessica had an opportunity last summer. Y'all. No, 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 no. Let me let me my do that Bernie, bit. Bernie finger. No, no. Let me be clear. Let me be very clear. So last summer, I asked Jessica. I had the money in hand. She did. In hand. He did. I said, "Would you like a Peloton?" said yes you're like no where are we gonna put it no no i said it? yes but i couldn't justify this is what we so here, this here's is what the we thing do. here's the thing we've discussed and you don't this. need no 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 David i'm not i am not always allows me to talk him out of expensive no. purchases for me no, I don't. one year he was going to get me a louis vuitton bag for our anniversary and he was like because david can't hold water david is that little kid that you're like don't tell and he's like oh i've got true. a secret that's actually so that's actually not true he consulted my it's cousin it's and you know she helped me pick shout the bag out, shout out to esquire shout out to esquire who's a true esquire who who kept her client attorney privilege and she was like, Jess, I'm going to buy these bags, one of these bags. Here are the options. And she sent them to me. We walked through them. Like, I, I didn't know. I had no clue it was for me. 
One of the bags, I was like, everybody with a bad weave has this bag. Don't get this bag. This bag, yeah, there's this one Louis Vuitton bag. Everybody has. Um, Shout out to all the people out there with bad weaves <laughs> <laughs> and Louis, Louis, and Louis v bags. Vuitton bags. Um, picked the bag and everything. And then David was like, do you want to know what I'm getting you for your anniversary? And I was like, no. And he was like, you sure? And I was like, I mean, you so can did I buy the bag or not? You didn't because oh, I was okay. like, David, you I'm like, can't. I'm like, wait, I don't remember buying you a luxury <laughs> handbag or like, a name brand handbag. I can't allow you to buy me this. Per- I was like, I just can't justify so it. I, I don't. was probably in my head. I was probably like, cool. Uh, and he was. He was. <laughs> Put this money but, toward the mortgage. Like I Get that 30, I, get that 30 year paid I off I love luxury things. I will take luxury things. But you need like the type take of that gifter. Money. Look, take that money and, and go down to Magic City. The type of person I get am. Some wings. Be quiet. You just need to buy me stuff. If you're gonna get me something, you just need to get it for me. Don't don't tell me about it. Because if it's expensive, I will I will I talk also you don't out want it. to buy something expensive and you not use it. Oh, I will use it. No. I will make use of it. Even if you had gotten me the you bad gotta, I, I bought you a bike. You don't ride the bike. There's no air in the tire. You, didn't ride, you know I why did. there's no air in the tire? Because you didn't use the bike. I did use the bike, but then I kept no, being pregnant. Didn't. How am I supposed Yo, to? I can't wait for this last kid to. You want me on to, a bike? To, I can barely come to, down the stairs. To leave, <coughs> to leave your anatomy. <coughs> and then at least a year later, you will no longer have that excuse. Every time I ask Jessica Washington, I'm pregnant. I, I was am. I was pregnant. I even wanted to buy the thing that you make it like, a stationary. Be like, bike. Jess, why you ain't why you ain't folded? Why you ain't why you ain't make the bed? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. It's so much work just to roll. Our bed is really high up. It, it is, is not. You're it just, is. You're exaggerating. It is. It's not high. It's so much work for me to roll in and out of like, bed. Savi can step into our bed. She that's a lie. <laughs> she looks over the edge and she's like, nah. She's like, she climbs down. There was one night I could not get into the bed. I had to climb the bench at the edge of the bed. That's exaggeration. To climb Anyways, into our bed. This is not important. What and is important is that I asked Jessica if she wanted a Peloton, and she said no. See, if he was a good husband, he would have just and I bought said, the Peloton. And I said, okay, I will pocket this $2,500 to $3,000 purchase, and I will put the money elsewhere. What would you do with it, David? Probably put it toward the mortgage. <laughs> Try to get that 30-year paid off in fifteen. Not trying to owe the man for the rest of my life. There's always That's right, the man. The man is in charge of the police. He's in charge of mortgages, student loan debt. The man is in charge of everything. Anywho. The man shot Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. And man, the man knows where Elvis is. If he, the man was behind us faking the look, moon landing. At this point, Elvis is dead, dead. Even if Elvis yeah. went somewhere, he's, he's yeah, dead. He's he, deceased. He good, he good and dead. Um, the point of the matter is. If dead, you dead. have a woman like me in your life, if you're thinking about getting her See this? something, just get it. This is she a problem. She will appreciate it this more if you just, I am a, a woman of action. So I value you taking the action as opposed to you telling me. Actions speak louder than words. Get all the way out of here. No. Because all it does is it encourages it encourages your indecisiveness. No, it doesn't. Women are notorious for what? Not knowing what they want to eat. Because you ask a woman if she wants to, if you have, and, and, and if I encourage that behavior, and I still challenge you to this day on this, to I decide what an, you want to eat. I don't have an appetite. I'm pregnant. Okay. All you should I'm have saying, an appetite because you're pregnant. All I'm saying, from what I, I understand, well, I'm women sorry, I'm women not are a supposed to be stereotypical pregnant woman. You actually are stereotypical because you'd be like. I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, I know. Didn't we just talk about this? Like, I know. I We I, just talked about this. I know, because you always and remind me that you're pregnant. The voice that you take. Whatever. See, this is why we need counseling. No, we don't need counseling. We do need. You even said just the other day we need to go to Because you were being mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you saying. You were being mean to me. If you really want to get me something. You don't know how to talk. Just get it for me. <laughs> so don't. you and me. Not gonna stay friends. Don't ask me. Don't just get it. I will love Yo, it. Have we all ever? Because you just got. Have it we me. ever shared with you all the time our oldest blanked on my mother? <laughs> you know, it's in today's memory. Was it today? It's in today. I saw Yo, it on Facebook. Salas yeah. was at our parents. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run the clip. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all see this because it is hilarious. Do you actually remember to put the clips in when you say you're gonna put? I'm running this clip. But do you remember? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> when I edit, when I put, listen, 
Listen, I'm a father of of two and a half. Oh, now it's a half. I'm a husband. Because when I said I was home with three, I'm kids. a husband. I'm a husband of two and a half. I'm a husband. You're a husband of two I'm and a half. <laughs> Damn, you got another slick. wife and a half. I went. Like- I went. Lou Williams. I got two. I got one on the side. No, I'm a. I'm a father of two and a half. I'm a husband. I am a. I am a fully employed. I smoke cigars. I drink bourbon. So when it comes time to edit, yo. I'll be, I'll be slaying them one now that I have a process. I'll be slaying these things together. So sometimes I put stuff in the description when I say I'm gonna put in there, and sometimes I don't. My bad. I'm gonna be better in season two. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna promise anything for this year because it's about to get real crazy. But I'm gonna run the clip. But I'm gonna tell y'all what happens in the clip before I run it. So Silas is at our parents, right? This is pre Savi. Silas is out at my parents, and my mom was watching tennis. And I guess Solace wanted to do something. My dad had the, he was the cameraman on the on the scene. He started the video like midway through. So I don't know what Solace wanted my mother to do, but she wanted her to play. And mom wasn't giving her the attention she wanted. So Solace is like two feet from right. her. And she just went off. She was like, she was like, <laughs> you don't know how to talk. So you and me are not going to stay friends. And she did the hand. And she did everything. And then she just walked off. And mom was like, oh, so it's like that? And Charles was like, yep. <laughs> so I'm playing the, I'm going to run the clip. Oh, y'all are going to see this. It's and, the memory. Cause and y'all are going to, if y'all we don't laugh. New Orleans, right? I don't know where we were. This is the week we were in New But Orleans. if y'all don't laugh, y'all don't have a sense of humor. So I'm run the clip. It's hilarious. And then, it we're, and then we're going to come back. It is hilarious. You don't want to have to talk. So you and me are not those same friends. So. I'm the one doing that three of them. So we're not friends anymore? Mm-mm. Wow. That's how you get rid of your friends like that? Yeah, because you're being mean to me. How am I being mean to you? Because you didn't want to play with me. I didn't say I wouldn't play with you. I said I want to watch the match right now. That's not being mean. I want you to play with me. I- so, that girl... She was upset. Jessica's rewatching it on her phone right now because that's how funny it was. So, uh, anyways, so um, yeah, uh, it's you, if if you want a Peloton, you need to. And I ask you if you want one. You need to say you want one because it's too expensive of a purchase for me to run the risk if you're not actually. Return it. No, or that feels it. that feels like it's more. I, I, that seems as if it would be more cumbersome and more bothersome to return it. Than to like, because I imagine they charge you restock fees, and then they got to send somebody out. And nah, I'm not trying to do on it. You didn't really. If you say you if you say you want one, I will get you one. I'm saying it. I'm actually surprised it hasn't shown up. And if you don't use it, I'm never. I'm buying you nothing but knockoffs the rest of our our time on this earth. Guys, he's lying because he gets a special joy. I'm gonna buy you knockoffs from C. Like when he bought, I was shopping at Walmart. I most electronic items I have, he bought me. So Shop like this less. watch, he got me this watch. Swap now, this meat. one's old. <laughs> Want to swap me? Be quiet. This Flea one's market. old. He gave me one of his newer ones. I accidentally broke it, and then he replaced it, and now he took it back so that he could use it to mow the lawn once a week. Anyway, um, but he got that for me. He got me. What else did he get me? He got me my 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 first MacBook ever. And like presented it so cute, so he can sit here and try to be all, oh, I'm never gonna get you anything, knock off, blah blah blah. This man loves buying me stuff. He loves the satisfaction of knowing he got me something that I like. So save it for somebody else. That's not me. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. So, um, other than, other than being, uh, you know, trying to blame your husband for no reason. What's been going on with you lately? Uh, I've been sick. We, we talked about that. You can hear it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sick too, by the way. Yeah, he he got it too. So it's my voice like is, my voice is extra extra deep. I'm so thankful that our parents have the kids because if because Savi is also sickish, and when she's sick, like she's already low key annoying, but when she's sick, she's like irritable, annoying, and being pregnant and sick and then also having to take care of sick Savi is is probably the worst ever. Well, it's weird because she'll like 
one minute she'll be sick and then another minute for like she's three four hours she'll just fine. be her regular self so it's like and you, then she she just snaps and like, goes are you back sick or and and then she's just so impatient with everybody like if she's in a comfortable position god forbid you move an inch and ruin that comfort for her then she's upset with you it's ugly so she's you know i'm getting updates um from from our parents and you know david's mom is just like girl you lucky you don't have her because even she's pushing me to my limits and i we knew she was already gonna push grandma to her limits but we tell her that every time they want to take her I'm like are you sure because she's just built different savvy is built and mom be like yeah that's okay baby we'll take her I'm savvy's like, right. not like don't come running don't come running to me because i told you savvy's just she's just not like i warned you. solace was and we were all younger First, like four years makes a difference in terms of energy and patience and all of that. Um, so, you know, kudos to them. But other than that, you know, initially this this week's episode, I wanted to do a petty vibes episode. I was going to come up in here and be really, really petty. Um, toward who? Just towards people who I felt like have done me wrong, but then try to flip the script and make it seem like I did something wrong. Wait, <laughs> wait, um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so you're going to have a hit them up? episode of rush vibes i was going to <laughs> uh, and I, I i in part blame it to just being you know pregnancy hormones and being sick but we're not gonna do that but then i prayed because remember i would go to my retreats i'll get better a la akbar <laughs> um i prayed and i was like no i'm not gonna be petty i'm not going to to do that i was like that's what that's what the devil wants me to do that's what they want us to do get get on my platform get on my own level and just blast people for being wrong, for being who they are. Not going to do it, even though there's slight petty shade in me telling you that I'm not going to do it. That I'm still petty. And I'm still working on it, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a daily process. Um, so that's pretty much what's new with me. Um, just getting over my, my petty vibes and hoping that I'll wake up petty vibes, able to breathe. Do, 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 do. I thought that'd be a great title for an episode. Petty, petty vibes. vibes. And I was just going to start. I was just going to the clip. Just go petty. Just the clip and let it say. Nah, we're not going to do that. I was, oh, I was just going to take the little. Mar uh, Martin said we need to be nonviolent. <laughs> oh, I could be nonviolent and still hurt you. But I'm here to be better. I'm here to grow. And one day, my children are going to watch this episode and say, Mom had the opportunity to be petty and chose. I could have chose violence. I didn't choose violence. I could have chose petty. I didn't choose petty. Not saying one day I won't. She you will she probably defi She definitely will I, It'll probably be the one episode I'm not here Yes And then she'll just like go off violent, she'll just go violent off the, vibes She'll just go off the deep end I come back like What the world mother I'm just gonna go off on everybody um, Pull out my journal And just you know In the third grade Everybody But I chose not to I'm choosing not to I'm working on myself I wanna be better So I'm gonna do better And I wanna be an example to my kids So Yo speaking of This has nothing to do with Like hit them up Petty stuff vibes, okay. But uh Did I ever tell you the story of Um This is so random I don't know why I'm thinking of this Cause y'all know I got my stories right Um Did I ever tell you the story About when we went to the beach For senior week At uh, high school seniors Oh when you had the timeshare But didn't have the timeshare Yo to get, like Yo, all right, I'm going to tell y'all, and I, I don't think anybody who is involved actually watches this, but if they do, um, I'm going to hear about it, but I got to tell the story. It is so epic, but first, we're going to take a break. Let's take a break. Okay. And then we'll be back. All right, we back. <laughs> Jessica's laughing because she, uh, we almost had, we almost had indecent vibes. I mean... <laughs> She run around here half naked. She thinks just because she in the house, she can look. Just walk around and decent. Don't roll up on my house. It's not, it's not lady like. I like don't. We'll have the we have a sliding door and we don't have like a privacy film over it or anything. So we'll just have the blind. The curtains just wide open. Jessica would just be strolling around in her in her drawers, in her drawers. I mean, it's my house. Anyways, so my story. All right, so I'm gonna set the table. So it's 2000. <laughs> it's 2006, right? Uh. I got a couple of friends. We all played football, basketball, track, some combination of the three together. And um, we said, hey, let's go to Myrtle Beach. At the time, Myrtle Beach wasn't as trash as it is now. It was still trash, but it wasn't as trash as it is now. So um, we were like, cool, it's senior week. You know what I'm saying? We just graduated. You know, we're men. So let's go down to Myrtle Beach. So <laughs> 
one of our friends um, <laughs> said that his aunt, cousin, somebody had a timeshare. So, you know, we basically had a room for free. We just had to go down there, pay for our drinks or, or pay for our food and, you know, whatever beverages we got, pay for our events. But we basically had a spot to, spot to stay. Now, keep in mind, uh, this friend is 17. Everybody else is at least 18. And I think you have to be at least 18 to stay in a room or something, something to that effect. So uh, we, get, we get down there and we, send, uh, we go into the, to the spot that we thought we had the timeshare. And it was like, no, nah, we don't even do timeshares. <laughs> so we're like, wait a minute. Like, how did, how did those lines get blurred? Like, how, did, how was our miscommunication from I got a timeshare at this spot at the beach to we don't even do timeshares? So we're like, huh, we drove three and a half hours to a beach and have nowhere to stay. Interesting. So we basically went and stayed at the most hole in the wall, like trash. ratchet trash motel. And uh, we all had to go in and like put our ideas on since we're all going to be staying there. So we basically, <laughs> we, uh, the dude, the, the one of us who was 17, we tried to make him look older. <laughs> so we gave him like, <laughs> we gave him like a hat and put on backwards. Uh, we made him like stand in the back. Uh, when we were all like giving our, our IDs Why would and you stuff, just let him stay in the car? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. So we get this spot. It's not terrible. It's got two beds, so it's four of us. So we each got a we got a bunk, um, and you know, but we're not. We're really only going to be there to, to sleep. So it's not like we're going to be spending a whole lot of time in the in the room. Okay. So we're out. You know, we meet up with some other people from school who are down there, and you know, uh, I think we're going to hit the beach at one point. And we realized that we didn't have, I think we didn't have any, any trunks or towels or, or a combination of the boat. <laughs> okay. Yes, we went to, and, th- and I'm that guy, like even now I'll go to, I went to Tampa for t- two and a half, three weeks and didn't take my swimming trunks. Like I just, it's so infrequent that I go to the beach that I just forget beach items when I, when I get, the, so I buy them when I get there, which is what beach economies expect because that's why they jack their prices up on simple items, which is kind of outrageous, but you know, capitalism anyways. So we go to Walmart, right? We're at Walmart. I got some shades on. You know, I'm, I'm not really cultured in terms of my hairstyle, so I basically just do a one all the way around, just take a low, real simple, right? Uh, so I'm strolling through Walmart, and I notice I'm being followed, right? I'm like, dang, it's 2006. You know what I'm saying? We're still getting followed up in Walmarts. But it wasn't an employee. It was a girl. She was following me. So uh, we finally, you know, meet each other, I turn around like, hey, what's up? And she's like, she had, a, she had a squad with her, right? So she had three friends. I had three friends, right? So um, she, uh, she comes over and she's, you know, we're kind of doing the dance, right? And uh, she's like, where y'all staying? We're like, oh, we're, we're here. She's like, oh, well, that's like a couple of blocks from where we're staying. We're like, cool. And she said, what's your name? And I said, David. And she said, what you say? I said, I said, my name's David. She's like, oh, I thought you said your name was baby because you can be my baby real quick. And I was like, okay, Lies. okay, let's go. I was like, you call me whatever you yeah, need to. The first and last time you go what, back to. Whatever you need to, right? So I'm feeling myself, right? Like I am goat status at this point because that is the first and last time <laughs> one has ever, ever hollered at me. That's so So cute. I'm like, all right, so we exchange numbers, right? And there was this other chick who was, you know, she was filming uh, one of my other boys. The other girls, they were, you know, <laughs> and uh, our, our other friends, they weren't too interested. In. So I'm texting, I'm texting Shorty, right? And uh, they're like, all right, let's meet up. Blah, 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 blah. You know, she's like, feeling you, feeling you, blah, 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 blah. I was like, cool. So we go up to the to their spot, me and my boy, who was interested in, in her friend. And somehow, I don't know at what point, this happened but somehow he started talking my friend started talking to the girl that was interested in me is not her baby no. and i was and i was like wait a minute but i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm baby, baby. like real quick baby and uh i was interested in the other girl but it's like at, at that point i was just defaulted to wingman status so i had to you know try to do something so i got her number two um, although i could tell it was kind of like a sympathy type joint so um we said all right we're gonna we're gonna y'all gonna come down to our spot Right. You're going to come around like seven, eight, nine. So, you know, we were we were preparing, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> so we tell our friends, like, hey, 
hey, we're about to have some girls back come back to the room, so y'all got to get out. So they're like, are y'all for real? Are y'all for real? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're for real. We're about to come, about to come over. We're about to come over. I got, I got the text. I got the receipts. So uh, they leave. Flip phone. So they, <laughs> nah, it was a, it was a Nokia or something. That's <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they leave. All right. So me and my boy, we go back. So we're like, you know, we're trying to get the room ready. Like, I don't know how you get a room ready. <laughs> we were just in there with, uh, with, with two, uh, two fulls. And, um, you know, we just were sitting there chilling. So we lay down, TV's on. Um, so I noticed, you know, it's, some time has passed as it left. <laughs> right. So I, uh, I, uh, I text the girl. I was like, hey, you know, young, y'all still coming? And she was like, yeah, yeah, we'll be there. I was like, okay, cool. No pressure. No pressure. Just, you know, just, just checking. A little bit more time passes. So I call. Goes to voicemail. But, you know, it, service isn't that great yep, at, at Myrtle Beach, right? So I'm like, okay, it's just service it's is just bad. just fine at Myrtle Beach. Yo, I don't know at what point it happened, but me and my boy, we just passed out. <laughs> and we woke up, and our friends had come back in the room. And uh, I, I had that good sleep because... I had one hand behind my, my head and I had my other hand like in my waistband. <laughs> so, you know, I was sleeping good. And they came in here like, man, y'all sleep. Y'all in here. Y'all got us out here on the strip walking around and y'all in here sleep by yourself. <laughs> so we got stood up. Oh, they stood you up. They stood us up. Never heard, never heard, seen from again. Number disconnected. Oh, it's tragic, tragic story. So it was, um, it was, it was a, it was a real quick rise and an even even steeper fall for me in terms of you know the whole game and and picking up people and and stuff so i that's when i realized you know it's not for you not for me not for me at all so um that was that was senior week why did you tell this story i have no idea it just <laughs> popped up and it's, it's so hilarious like i i don't probably don't tell it the best like if we're ever if the four of us are ever around in the same spot uh it, it would obviously be much better but um I was really feeling myself. I thought, you know, I was about to be one for one, you know, just, and it happened, you know, it did, it didn't happen. You got me. So, um, barely. So yeah, just be careful. Next time somebody <laughs> says, next time somebody says they'll come to your spot, make sure they be real. That's what you get. Sure you turn, so you can check I was going to say, make sure you turn on their location or something on their, uh, on their iPhone. But, um, yeah, a lot of my a lot of my stories as it relates to uh, attraction, uh, the opposite sex, they they usually end in tragedy. So uh, this is this case is no this Ours case is in this case is no different. Times. Yeah, and, and and we actually ended in tragedy several times too because somebody was tripping. Yeah, you. So um, Je- you know, it was so funny. The last time we broke up, Jessica had told I was planning to to move to Los Angeles. Right. Because there was at one point in my life, I thought I was going to be uh, I was going to attempt to break into screenwriting. Um, my brother and I, we had decided to move out there together. We have a cousin in L.A. Um, you know, he he said, you know, he could get us a spot, you know, at, at a decent rate. Um, kind of gave us you know, expectations of what the area was like, how much money we need to put away. We had done our research. We were ready to go. And at the time, Jessica and I were dating on and off. So the last time we broke up, Jess had broke had I think Jessica had broken up with me and. And then I told her, I was like, well, I'm going to Los Angeles. And she got offended. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I did? You, yeah, you tried to get mad at me that I said, I basically just said, well, I'm going to Los Angeles. So, you know, if it's going to work, it's going to have to work long distance. And you were like, you caught the biggest attitude. Like, you didn't just break up with me a couple of weeks ago. Like, how, the nerve. Are you sure that's how yeah, that I am, happened? I'm absolutely, because I remember the conversation. I remember when I actually you told you. It, oh, no, I, I, I remember I, I had texted you. I said, well. I'm going to LA. Well, I mean, I'm probably and then you I was were like, like upset. And then because, you were like, oh, <laughs> like no, chick, you know what? It chick, probably you just was, broke up with me. It probably you was, broke up with me. I was dating you, and then we the break up, and all of a sudden you're going like, how did you coordinate I was always, so quickly? I was always going to LA. You were going to LA. LA was always so the plan. Maybe that's what it was. LA was always the plan. It was the plan before you, before BJ, twenty. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> before Jessica, and it it. it it's no longer. It may be the plan after you. <laughs> you okay. keep you keep bugging. I keep bugging. Anyways. Um, but of course I didn't end up going to Los Angeles because I opted to stay yeah. and get married with the love of my life. And now we're two and a half kids into this thing. <sighs> and tired. And tired and, and stuffy. So, you know, it's interesting. We talk about relationships. Um 
it's so I don't know why I always do this thing when yeah, I when I segue caress I caress I caress the table because I spent four figures on this table that's why I caress no, it you didn't. close to four figures on it Who I didn't show you the re- four figures I found the receipt recently oh. it wasn't was like, four figures I could have written this off because it wasn't four figures Eight cent? Oh, that's, I'm rounding that up. It's four figures. <laughs> we get that close. It's four figures. But we could have so, written it off on our taxes because we use it for business purposes. Um, because this was supposed to be you mine. Talk, you talk about, uh, you talk about people who have uh, acted, started acting differently towards you, and I, one of the, you know, there's always uh, good things and bad things that come out of uh, trying times, right? Trying moments. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it's more bad because it's trying but you can also find silver lining if you look hard enough right so i think one thing the pandemic has really really taught me and i see it in in you in a lot of ways i'm really proud at your growth but for me it's really uh because i've never been the one to keep a whole lot of friends right i've got like the number of the the way i he says this but he's in like everybody's wedding no I am. He's but been in more weddings than me. But look, I've been in no, one. But look, I, I, I describe a friend as somebody I would call at 2 a.m. if my life were in danger. And, the, and, and you're not family. Like, you're not my brothers. You're not my wife. You're not my in-laws. You're not my parents. Um, and the number of people I, is, like, literally on one hand. And it may not, I may not even use all my fingers. So, Do cousins count? No. Like, I would. Ooh, then I don't really have that many. Yeah, so, like. Uh, for for me, I had a lot of people who I thought were friends, um, but turn, the pandemic kind of showed me that they were more so associates or like part time friends or like membership friends. You know, like the membership you got to use once a year or you lose it. Like those friends, like oh man, I got to see David. I haven't seen him in a while. It's not cool. like I want to see David. It's like oh, I got to see David. So uh, and that's cool with me, right? Because I'm I'm introverted um there are a few things that i i have my vices and i have my hobbies and i can i can do those and i've, I've obviously got we have our hands full now with with the young family so i'm i'm cool and if i need a release i'll go see my brother we'll, we'll smoke or we'll go have smoke night with with our cousins and it'll be gucci but it it does kind of like certain things have come up like with the uh with with all the protests and things last year it allowed us to see people who we thought uh, we're in our corner and we're supportive of, how, of us and how people like us were feeling at the, who look like us were feeling at the time. And it allowed us to see like, oh, this person really doesn't get it or really isn't in our corner or really does have some questionable uh, opinions or, or values and how you feel, the things that you believe in, that's for you. But that does not mean I have to associate with you. So I'm not hating um, that people may feel a certain way about certain topics and, and certain issues. Not at all. But it doesn't align with what I believe. And ultimately, at the end of the day, I, I, I get to decide who's in my life mm-hmm. and who's in and we get to decide who's in our life. So that uh, that opened some eyes that opened my eyes to um, some things and some people who I thought, you know, were were net positives being in our life. And they were actually net negative. So, you know, had to shed it. So um, but for you, I know you're someone who's a lot more social than I am. Um, a lot more bubbly, so to speak, in terms of, you know, when you, when you go out and like, like Jessica's never met a stranger, like we can be anywhere and Jessica can literally strike up a conversation with anyone about anything. It's just fascinating. Like I'm, I'm constantly in awe and I'm glad because it takes the pressure, it takes the pressure off of me. That way I used to get to sit and be quiet and be, um, antisocial until she tags me in and I kind of have to, you know, do my bit and then I can go back to being quiet again. So, um, but she makes friends easily because she's she's likable. She's so personable. Like she's easy to trust. She's easy to uh, seek advice from. Um, she's for other people. She she makes it really easy to for them to sit and talk because she'll listen. Not so much with me. She'll get she'll like get annoyed with I don't me. She'll be like, that well, <laughs> she'll no, but you but you do. So it makes it I really. Think people think I'm she's, relatable too. And she's she is relatable, um, and she's just a genuinely like just beautiful soul. And she'll develop a lot of relationships that turn into friendships. And I think when you have a global pandemic and people are scared to be around other people um, and people have their own feelings about what other people should and shouldn't be doing, um, I think both of our friends lists dwindled a little bit 
hers more so than mine because she had more to lose than me. Like it's hard to go. <laughs> <laughs> like you only got five. It's hard. You can't lose too much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but when you have, you know, like 10 and, and whatever, you know, it's, it's easier to take a hit, but I'm so proud of, of Jessica because she believes, she knows like she believes she knows who she is. She knows what her principles are. She knows what she believes in. Um, and if, uh, you know, anyone disagrees with something she's done, she said, but they're not big enough to speak to her about it. And she is very, now she is very approachable. <laughs> you can, you can, Was you, I not approachable? you can approach her with things that you disagree with her on and she will, she will listen, but she will also tell you how, why she said what she said and why she said what she said. And if she still believes what she said, and if so, then it is what it is, but you can't approach her about it and you can have a conversation like an adult, but um, I'm so proud of her because um, you know, there have been some, some people who have just kind of just, just dispersed for what, whatever reason, for one reason or another, but you know, nothing has been, been said to her, but uh, you know, if nothing else, it's just allowed her to, kind of uh double down on on the true friendships that she does have um and appreciate those people even more like our friend canel who i'm gonna yes i'm gonna call her out like i love canel and i have absolutely like no relation i have no relationship with canel but i love canel because canel always comes through for jessica like there has not been a time where jessica has been in need and she's reached out to canel or canel happened to be talking to jessica and realized she was in need or i asked canel for something and she has not come through so if you're good to my wife, right? Like if you're good to her, like you got you got to advocate in me for for life beyond like God forbid something happened to Jessica and I outlive her, I would still be your biggest advocate because like there there nothing does more for me warms my heart more than when someone sees the value in my wife that I do and it that in in turn uh, you know want makes them want to do everything they can for her. So um I was really proud am really proud of you the way that you've just kind of been like, you know, this is who I am. This is, this is what it is. You either with it or you not. Um, and I really appreciate that while at the same time being open to, you know, different perspectives, you know, maybe a little bit of criticism, um, constructive criticism, albeit, and, um, just, just growth. That's all it is. That's all life is growth, relationships, health, <laughs> but I mean, it's just relationships and, and, and about how you grow as you get older and as you're exposed to more things and more people and cultures and, and opinions and whatever. So uh, you've done a really good job during this pandemic and, and even throughout just the such a dark time that you went through with, with employment and the effect that it had. Like you've just done, it's, I'm really proud. I appreciate that. I didn't expect us to pivot like this. Yeah. Um, I personally and 45 seconds. What? <laughs> <laughs> like I looked at the oh, you timer. Got set, you, got set. you got like um, eight. Got like eight minutes. I personally don't see myself as a good friend, um, and I know I know it sounds crazy. It is um, crazy. And based off your facial expression, it must be. This, is, this tore down everything I said <laughs> in the last. Well, I say that because one, I'm as big of a personality as I am, as extroverted as I come out to be. I'm still very introverted, and I'm also very independent. And I've learned to be self-sufficient. Um, I think a part of that comes from, you know, I went to one, an elementary school in one part of the district, then a middle school in a different part of the district, a high school, and then I moved in high school. So I've always had to, like, make new friend groups. I, I don't have the friend from kindergarten that we're still besties. I don't have the friend from, like, 15, 20, 30 years ago that we've just been friends forever. So... I'm kind of a nomadic friend, um, and I'm also a very seasonal friend where, you know, in in some seasons, we'll see each other all the time, we'll talk all the time, and then other seasons, you know, we'll fade, and we have, like, you, stop that, this is weird, I can't get this and you up. as a as a person have to be self-sufficient enough to understand that we'll hit a season where we don't talk as much, but I still love, for you, love you and care for you, and that's how I feel like Canel and I have risen through the test of time i've literally known canel for 11 years now uh we started working together 11 years ago and we've just been able to be friends i, I mean it helps her personality she's humble um she's just a genuine beautiful person inside and out um she's been there for the girl with each kid that we've had you know she just it doesn't matter what she's going through she's always there for you and i personally don't feel 
at myself as a needy friend like i'm not going to be that friend who's like hey i need this hey i'm dealing with this like i when i'm going through something i i deal with it on my own um even pregnancies like there i've been a lot more out like I'm not public about being pregnant, but I've been more social this time. Uh, my Our friend Samantha, she had her birthday. And you know how Leos are. They got to celebrate for forever. Um, and I went to two out of three of her birthday events. Or two out of four. No, two out of six of her birthday events. Um, and then went to lunch with her like the next day too. Um, but that's the most social I've been pregnant. I go into a cocoon. Like, you'll see me on social media, but for the most part, if I'm pregnant, I think that's just the Ghanaian in me. They're, we're, or my parents in me. Like, they're just very secretive people. Um, and they're just very particular, you know, juju and voodoo and all this stuff. And they always feel like someone's out to get them. So it's like, let's keep things hush hush for as long as possible. Um, and I deal with my own things, just, you know, being pregnant and how I look and how my body changes and the lack of control. Um, but I decided, you know, I'm going to step out. I'm going to be a, a better friend. I'm going to, you know, be social. But I've learned that, yeah, it's fun to have a lot of people. Um, I prefer to have a lot of acquaintances. I love being a networker. I love being the type of person where if you say, oh, I, you know, I'm trying to do this, I can be like, oh, I know someone who does this and I can connect you with them. I like being a conduit. Um but I don't know that, just like you, you said you have about five friends. I don't know that I can say I have more than five friends. And I think one thing the pandemic showed me, just like you said, your membership friends, where it's kind of like Sam's Club. Annually, you know, you got to repay that membership. The pandemic showed me that some friendships are foundational based on what you can do. So, like, businesses had to pivot. People had to pivot. But I think friendships also had to pivot. And if you built a friendship based off of hanging out and being social and, you know, doing things, not having that access could have affected your friendship. So I feel like that that has shown me in a way that there were some friends or some people who I thought could be friends because I, I, I'm actually very particular with how I toss that word around um, were not friends. It, they were situational people uh situational acquaintances we're close i'm an open book so there's really nothing that i'm not comfortable sharing with just about anybody like i could meet you on a train and just you know tell you my whole life and be like all right well have a good trip you know see you later um so it's not like oh there are certain people who know all of my secrets um that's not the case like i'm not fearful of sharing my secrets um the friends that i know are friends are the people that like i can go seasons where i'm not talking to and when we pick back up like when the season changes or shifts like we're we're back in it just cynthia and i have talked about that we we go through phases where it's like we just don't talk i like something on facebook i like something on instagram reply to a story but we don't have actual conversation right now we're in a hot season we are communicating on a regular basis but we we are working together so there's more to it um but I have told myself I'm going to do better at being a friend. But with that. Don't do it. I'm not going to. Okay. What? I thought you were about to start crying. No, no, no. <laughs> you're no, sniffling. I'm you're you know, sniffling. When you're, it's, you're it's throwing me off. I'm like, yo, no, I can't I, take you. I can't take you crying on another episode. I was episode. congested and I, the, the congestion popped. So heart, I was able to breathe. So my, heart, I my heart can't <laughs> take it. No, I wasn't able okay. to breathe. And then I, the congestion popped. So okay. then I could breathe. Okay. We're good. Two nostrils. No, I'm crying, but I'm tearing. I'm not crying. Um, right. um, two, two minutes. But I'm not going to... There are efforts I'm willing to go to for friendship, but there are also things that I take into account. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. Like At the end of the day, the most important friendship in my life is you know, my friendship with my husband. All other friendships can crumble. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. And even our friendship, there are some days where I'm like, <laughs> I can't with this dude. Um, but like... If it's not, like, it's us, at the end of the day, it's us. I go to bed next to him. I wake up next to him. So, you know, you and I can be besties, but it's always going to be me and him. Like, I'm always going to put him ahead of you. Um, but I think for me, it's really important. It became really important for me to recognize that I, as beautiful as it is to see people with long-term friends and groups of friends and being able to do things with friends, I don't need friends. And that's the no problem. New friends, no new friends. No, no new, new friends, friends, no old no friends, new. no 
like form like I don't need it and that's what makes that's what puts me in bad positions that because I don't need friends a lot of the friends that I attract are people who need friends uh, um mm -hmm. so it makes me seem like I don't care when that's not the case I'm very out of sight out of mind I got two people running around driving me crazy here I got a husband that's a full-time job like I I'm occupied and it's like these are these four walls are my priorities so I need friends who also don't need friends. But sometimes it hurts because, like, when I get a free moment, like, the other day you were working, the girls weren't here, and I was like, it'd be nice. I want pancakes. And I couldn't think of, like, who 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 do I want to get pancakes with? Go yourself. And, you, and I, I could do that. I just ended up realizing I was lazy, and then I was like, I could just lay in bed, and this is great as well. Um, but there's that, that's, the only element where it's just like, I also don't want to become the person where it's like, oh, Jess only hits me up when she wants to eat, <laughs> when she doesn't want to eat by herself. Um, but yeah, I, I I appreciate the accolade you gave me. I personally think you have more friends that you give yourself credit for. I think you're a great friend. I think you actually listen better than I do because... Huh? <laughs> Because I'll be listening to you, and if I don't know where your story is about to end, like I stop listening, I start guessing. Like, I'll, like while you're talking, I'm like, oh, so he did. Th the, oh, that's not what he did. The disrespect. Uh, <laughs> but it's really just because I have, I have diabolical <laughs> behavior. I have a short fuse, and I'm trying to figure out. Like, if you're taking too long, it's like, can we just get to it so well, I can speaking figure of, out? Speaking of taking too long, is this where you cut me off because we gotta take a break? We gotta take our last break, right, and last then we'll break. come back and we'll wrap up. Last break. All right, we back. Um, back to wrap up. I forgot what I was saying. Um, oh yeah, you. I think you are a good friend. I think you have more friends um, than you think you do. Um, but I also think that you've told yourself that you're awkward and antisocial so much I am. that. And I and I lean into it very heavily. Anywho, you too are a good friend. Uh, I mean, sometimes your communication. I, I too. Sometimes, like, he'll be on the phone with someone, and I, I tell Solace this all the time, because she'll, like, pick up a FaceTime. Like, so her phone will ring, her tablet will ring, and she'll be like, ah, oh, why are they calling me? And I'm like, honey, you don't, you don't have to answer. Sometimes David does that. Like, he'll pick up a call, and the way in which he communicates, like, he'll speak to this person. I'm like, dude, why did you pick up? Because it's obvious to me you're not in this conversation. Nah, I'll just be like, I'm very monotone, though, when I talk on no, the phone. No, no, you're not. Because when yes, it's I someone am. or something you want to talk about or want but to talk to. But I never want to talk on the phone. You are, you can be energetic. Nah. You can be involved. I watch I re you. I reject that out of hand. That, you would reject the compliment? I reject that. I don't like talking on the phone. So, like, if somebody calls me nine times out of ten, I'm going to be like, oh, He my used God. to not like talking, and all he yeah, does is talk. Well, why are you calling me? He like, talks. texting is, is just fine. If you drive and wait till you stop. He talks a lot. You don't got to call me. Just wait till you stop driving, I mean, then I'm you can the text me again. I the same way. I will, if you're texting me and you don't text me that you're going to call me, even and it's if not, you text me that you're going to call the, me, it's not the person. I probably it's, still won't I don't know up. why. It's, I, guess, I guess when you're having a conversation, like, on the phone, you have to commit to it. You do. Like, there's not. You can't do anything else when you're texting. I can't watch TV. Can, I can't watch like, my kids. I can't. Cook, when you're texting, can't. it can it can go as as you need it to mm -hmm. go. You can be all in, or you can you can put it down for a minute, go cook or whatever. But on the phone, it's just it's it's just so being on the phone is is such a and time I don't suck. like getting headphones because yeah, then you gotta find just, the headphone. And then if you have lot. the kids, it's like I don't want to be disconnected with headphones. No, I know. There's some older people who may be watching well, this and stumble across and be like, oh, back in my day. Well, your day's like, you gone. Know what? Go back there. Too bad. I bet if you could text back in the 1950s, you'd have been texting in the uh, 1950s. Papa was a Rolling Stone with his unlimited text. So miss me with yeah, all of that. I am the same way. You, If we are texting, and I don't even feel bad about it anymore, you can call me and I will look at the phone. Just let it ring. And wait till it goes away. And then I'll text you back. And I'll be like, no, no I can't I, talk I, right I did now. Not, I did not ask you to text I didn't me. want to talk. And you didn't give me a warning that we yeah. were going to talk. Um, but other than that, I think you're a great friend. Well, thank um, you. You're loyal to a fault. Like, it drives me. I, The way I'm, I will cut, you think I was a butcher, the way I'd be cutting people off. Um, that's not David. David will, ooh, David will go to war for people. And I'm just like, why? Like, Why? 
What did they do? What did they do for you? I stay, I stay talking David out of being a good friend. I'm like, would they do that for you? Who is this person? Do you ever really know somebody? Why do you care so much? Devil, like Jess is AKA the devil on my left shoulder. <laughs> look, I stay and I'll be the angel too, but I'll knock I'll, I'll be like, look, I'm out for lunch. Cause the devil got this. I will stay talking him out of being a good friend. Um, I mean, and I'm loyal, but I just, the, the efforts, the lengths that he will go to for people is, is extreme for me sometimes. Sometimes. Um, but I, not as much as I used to, I have, I'm just notorious. I, I will say this. I am, I am not one for uncomfortable situations. I do everything in my power to prevent uncomfortable situations. Um, so if other people create uncomfortable situations, I, I will avoid them. I'm not, I'm not one who's going to be like, Hey, we need to talk about this. I'll do it in a relationship. Like I will, I will confront a David real quick and in a hurry. And in the most uncomfortable way, like he'd be getting ready to go into the bathroom, like with the speed walk. And I'm like, so we need to talk everybody else. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I, my life can survive without you. You know, when you speed walk into the bathroom, it's serious. And, and, she, and she knows what, that. And, and she'll that, still stop me. And he'll just be, I'll see his whole life. Such, just, a, such a terrorist. His whole life. Just, but that, but such even that took me time to get to a place where I was comfortable Diabolical. speaking to my own husband. So if I had to grow to speak into my own, to my own husband and be like, Hey, this is something that you did that you probably didn't even recognize you did, but it hurt me, but it offended me. Imagine you and I don't sleep with you. I don't sleep next to you, with you, on you, for you, nothing. Like our sleeping patterns are not aligned. I'm not gonna go through that effort for you. So <coughs> that's where that's where I stand with that. I love I value great friendships. I love friends who love my kids. Um that's where people like Canel, Samantha, like they love my kids. Auntie Canel comes through. My Bethany. Bethany comes Shout through. Shout out to Bethany. Bethany's one of my favorite because she was one of the few people, maybe one showed, of the only showed people. Showed up. Showed up, brought soup after Savi was born, and brought a gift for Solace. And I feel like Last that's summer. so important because it, it made Solace not and feel you know what? forgotten. You know what? Um, and I'm not just saying this because I, feel I know. I like we mentioned Bethany in every episode. Nah, We're going to we start giving and her royalties. I, I, and I don't just say this name. because I know she'll hear it at some point. I would I would say this to her and I would say it. If I, if I knew she wasn't going to hear it. I think the greatest thing about Bethany was, or the greatest thing about Bethany is, is that last summer um, when, you know, we were all still kind of, as as black people in the country, we're still kind of dealing with our feelings after watching that horrific uh, murder video, was she wanted to let us know that she supported us and that she loved us and that she knew that we were hurting, but she didn't try to overcompensate, mm-hmm. right? Like, and that's that's a very fine balance that a lot of people either... They know they don't want to deal with it, so they don't say anything because they know it's difficult. Or they they over they they cross the line. They 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 over over overdo it. Mm-hmm. Um, Bethany left. She came over. She she brought us dinner one night, or brought us food, and then and then a gift card for dinner. Mm-hmm. I think left us a little a little a sweet note, and um, was basically like, "Yo, chocolate that everybody else ate." Yeah, but yeah, me tore that tore that chocolate up. It was it was fire. Sorry, you didn't get any. Um, she uh and let us know that she knew we were hurting but that you know we had her support and uh you know that she cared about us and something so subtle as that uh it, it meant the world i know it meant the world to me and i'll always always vouch for bethany and if she asked me for anything more than likely i'd do it so um true i think that's like real like real friendship even though we're not that close like i know you and bethany are or maybe you are i don't know i know you have your own relationship but it doesn't seem like you're like tight tight but there's there's still a friendship there um and and a lot of it just breathe it's it's it sits on top of just a foundation of just genuine care and and, and love for you know two two beautiful human beings so i'm i'm thrilled that bethany's in her life and by extension our life uh because she's just such a positive influence so yeah, she's she's amazing and no we're not tight, tight and she was on uh she was a, she was a tight. she was a guest on rush Fries, i think episode 14 or 15 during my Entrepreneur march so uh, if you want to meet bethany go check her out on she's episode amazing. 15 I'm of debating. rush Fives. there's a part of me that's like maybe i should just do a home birth and let her be my midwife and i mean then, you could but i don't want that stuff all over the floor Okay, so you don't just stand there. Just, <laughs> like, whew, they have equipment. They bring wanna, stuff. They clean. Like it, it's. Oh, I'm thinking up. like back in the <laughs> back in the day, you just 
It's not just falling on the floor. I don't, I'm not trying that's, to give That's not how it happens. Okay. They well, have like a pool. I'll, I'll consider it then. Um, but I actually look at the hospital stay as as, as a getaway. This is true. I was like, it's this two days true. away. Yeah. And now I got but, two kids and, at But home. you're not really away because people come in like every every this is true. 45 minutes. Waking oh, I'm here, to, I'm here to check these vitals. Check these check vitals that I just checked find. 20 minutes ago. We are vitally okay. Um, but anyway. Yeah, and, then, and you know what they say before we're, we're, as they're leaving? Go and get some rest now. How am I going like, to get some rest, Bertha, when you keep popping in here and turning on the light? It's terrible. It's an absolute terrible experience. Like, I feel bad. I can't imagine what moms feel like. It's miserable. It's horrible. But it doesn't compare to anything. I just think of, like, my little, like, Sal- Salvi just busting in there, like, baby? <laughs> Mommy. Like, Sal's would yeah. be like, Mommy, did you have the baby? Is the baby awake? Are you sleeping? Mommy, where's the ba-? Yeah, I'm not going to do all that. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think friendship is probably an episode we should probably, we should elaborate on um, just in terms of like, what is a friend? What makes a friend? How do you classify a friend? Um, I think it would be interesting because everybody classifies. Because I don't know, I don't know if that, you know, two in the, cl- two o'clock in the morning thing is, is, is it? Like, don't it's call me. me, don't call me at two in the morning. It's I'm not going to hear it. Is it for me? The only thing I hear at two o'clock in the morning is one of my kids crying, or David obnoxiously looking for Vicks in the bath. <laughs> like last night, boy, I was struggling. And I, of course, I had to. As soon as he went into the bathroom and closed the door, I woke up and had to pee. Yeah, y'all know that. So gift, then I y'all had to that. walk all the way across <laughs> upstairs to the other bathroom. Y'all I know that meme of uh, Kermit the Frog where he's laying with the, the ventilator on him. That's how I felt last night. I needed that Vicks to open me up. I wanted an. I want an oxygen machine. So it was. Bad. It was tough. Um, but I made it through persevered so yeah i don't know i'm 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 not your two o'clock in the morning friend even but i will say when we were at the retreat we played that one game and i called i had to like think of who am i gonna i had to call lifelines say a song she called me at 12 and i thought about it i thought (laughs) i had to think about picking the phone up because i knew where she was i knew where she was i knew she was was. i knew that she was doing some 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 silly it wasn't silly it was like do i really want to pick this up but, but he came through so I, I so you know you had to call a lifeline give them a line from a song and they had to say the next line so i called david i called georgia who didn't pick up the first time and then text me talk about she was doing yoga like why were you doing yoga at 12 30 we and don't then, believe we don't believe and you. then like we you need, you need more people and and she was like i'm trying to get snatched like girl you're 25 you, you're snatched you're fine um i called samantha she you know you need to come up. on down to North Carolina gets you a, a little southern man to get snatched talk, real quick. I've talked to her. I want her to get her the bar past the bar in come on, North Carolina. Come on down. <coughs> come on down. She's a city girl. You've done she's, New York. You've done New York. We no, got the city? No, we don't. Compared we got, to New York, we got a little our city, city. We, got, we, got we a, don't even have a bodega in Uptown. We got, we got what, the equivalent of, of a borough? The bodega we have is in Noda. It's not even in Uptown. It's called Noda Bodega. Look, you um, expand your horizons, all right? Venture out a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Let her, New York yeah. is, is comfortable. It's comfort zone. You gotta let, expand. let her live her, run the world, sex in the city, New York life. And I'm going to vicariously stop, I need, live I need through her. mentioning TV shows. My bad. Um, let you. her live her life so I can vicariously live through her. Okay. Um, one job. Huh? You have one job. One thing you are not supposed to mention. My bad. Um, oh, goodness. But yeah, so I called her. I called Samantha. Samantha didn't get the lyrics right. Um, but she still picked up at like 1245. So I know I can count on well, her. Well, it's a good thing they have a gun to your head. Because right before they pulled the trigger, I guarantee you, you wouldn't have said, well, at least she picked up. <laughs> and you know what's <laughs> funny? Like this. We were playing. I don't even know what the prize was. I don't know if I don't know who won. It was just a fun game to play to just call people and see um, who's going to pick up. Uh, I'm, I'm um, sure the people you called didn't think it was they were all funny. awake um, and just hearing other people. Anyway, so, you know, yeah, back to the friendship thing. Don't I don't know if calling me like depending on the day calling me at two o'clock in the morning. I'm probably not going to pick up because um, I'm going to be. Asleep. OK, so that was my that was my standard for who I who I know. If their phone is not on silent or vibrate, I know that they would pick up. Like that's that's my that's that's my. I don't know that I have or, a standard for. I mean, it, it was an example. Like I, I don't know that it's like. I know, but that's your example. Like hard, like a think. hard thing. Like it's only only people who pick up are, are friend friends. But I'm that, I'm that's how I'm, I meant to. My point that I was making was that's how seriously I take the title mm-hmm. friend, like something that extreme. Um someone who would pick up is someone who only and only those people because it's going to be a small number of people who would actually pick the phone up are those that i would consider a friend that's the point i was trying to make i think as a parent now it's not like friend a friend for me is in a pinch who do i trust my kids with 
Who do I trust that? Nobody. <laughs> and that list is very short. Who? Nobody. Who, who is not blood related to my kid that Nobody. I know will take care of them in my absence just as well as, I, if not better than I will. Yeah. That That's what I would classify as a friend. Um because, yeah, it's not hard to find someone to take tequila shots with. It's not hard to find someone to go, you know, dancing the night away, traveling to tropical islands and resorts. But, you know, the people who I pushed out of me and we have nurtured and raised to whatever age point it is, can I trust you with them? Yeah. Will you take care of them? That's how I'll classify you as a friend. Correct. So that's where I <laughs> I don't trust him. Uh, that's where I stand in terms of nobody of friendship because you can hurt me and I'll keep it moving. Nobody I'll get know, over nobody it. knows friendship better than I do. But you got to be good to my kids. Nobody. You got to you got to be good to my kids. Yeah. So I think uh, we're at one oh five. So I think that's a good place to stop. Oh, it's not gonna be an extended vibes. Episode? No, no, no extended vibes. I was hoping to keep it under an hour, but we 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 hit a hit a couple of tangents and they were too good. So I just want us to keep rolling. Um, rolling. Shout out to. Uh, the vibe tribe out there everyone who's who's still watching still supporting still listening uh we love you guys um we we are in a season of transition in our personal lives um so hopefully once we're through that transition um we can be a little bit more i know we started doing like some live videos and whatnot and once we're through that we can you know the plan is to do a little bit more of that um so we can not only post stuff on wednesdays but as of right now it seems like if you're getting stuff on Wednesdays and then you might get something, something else, but, or, or another day, but definitely love everybody who's still watching and listening. Um, we, we, we appreciate you guys. So if you haven't already, go ahead, like the video, um, subscribe to the YouTube, follow us on social media, Instagram, Rush Vibes, uh, and we're also on Facebook as well. Then come join the Vibe Tribe. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. We still have some guests coming. We got one booked for like September, um, a local politician, Who's running for re-election? Dun, dun, dun. Who's a a, a a legend, a local legend in, in Union County? He'll probably rebuff that, but um, I consider them a legend because he's been doing a lot of good things for a long time. But uh, and then we're, we're we're definitely about to get back into guest season right before we wrap up season one of Rush Vibes, which will probably end in about um, around the end of October or the beginning of October. We might do before before we get into November. I'll say I say we do <laughs> anniversary vibes, and that's when we can actually drop. Our story. Oh um, yeah, that would be that would be cool. And that's where we're gonna leave you. Maybe we'll do like a when the baby comes, we'll do like a guest. No, we're not, not gonna put the baby on. <laughs> I mean, if, if we're just <laughs> holding the baby. Put the, we're not the, gonna put the baby. The baby's on. not gonna like. We're not gonna put you know babies when they first come out. Not all of them cute, so we gotta make sure we don't have to pass, show their face. Make sure they pass the test first. We just gotta we be like, hey, camera. we're here, we're alive. Um, Hi, hello, hey, we made it. Yeah, so uh, definitely, uh, we'll we'll probably end the season with with the, with the run of guests, and then. Uh, and then we'll be out for for a few months. We'll be back in in twenty twenty two. But maternity vibes, maternity maternity leave vibes. Um, but yeah, this is this has been fun. Every time we get a chance to come up here, it's 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 just as enjoyable, if not more enjoyable than the time before it. So thank you all for listening. Thank you for watching. We're gonna bring our man Jay Belk in. Any any parting words? No. I just want to let you know if anybody if anybody calls me. At 12 in the morning Talking about I need you to guess these lyrics I'm hanging up And even if she calls me again I'm hanging up I picked up I once I picked up once But I'm not gonna pick I'll up again Call no. me I'll do it We out Stop me now Stop me now Yeah I don't care Way too fucking Stop me now